Hi there, I'm Atova, welcome to the channel and welcome to another High Fleet tutorial video, this time on missiles. So here's a list of all the missiles that are in High Fleet. Now please excuse the picture because I've left the sprints in there, the zenith and the bombs. After that though, these are all the different missiles you can equip your ships with. So we've got the KH-15, the KH-15P, the A-100 and the R-3. And all these have different activation types. So we've got radar homing for the KH-15, anti-radiation for KH-15P, radar homing for the A-100, and the R-3 is a theatre ballistic missile. Now it's important to note all these have nuclear variants, which you can see on the picture of the missile. Okay, so I'll show you how to use these now. Just a little side note, if you want to use these missiles in your campaign, what you can do is, in the Shipworks editor, you can equip the missiles you want and just name it to a custom version of that ship. You could put Yars MK2 and in brackets what missile types it's got. And it's just, I don't really consider it cheap, but just a way of having the missiles you want at the start of the campaign if you don't want to have nuclear missiles or if there's certain missiles you do want to use in the beginning. And if you can look on screen now, I'm just typing it in, so I'm calling this custom. And this will unlock on the main screen once I've saved it. So once I start a new campaign and I'm on ship selection, I can use them. Okay, so let's start with the KH-15. This is a radar homing missile. And as you can see, I've got a target coming at me. So I'm going to switch to the KH-15s. KH I'm going to arm one of them. And then it's important to note that where you place the cursor is where the missile activates. That doesn't mean distance it will travel so wherever you put that cursor that's where the missiles activation will come alive okay so as it's been radar homing it's a 90 degree cone and when it hits that point that's when the missile will activate so if you want it to shoot past something make sure you put that cursor past it so as you can see now i've sent the missile off and notice the point it activates and then it's going to search for any targets that come in to that cone When it arrives, then you'll see a little cutscene showing how your missile's going to do. And boom, we hit that target. So let's talk about the KH-15P, this is an anti-radiation missile. Basically, it will search for any radar emissions when it activates. Now be careful, because if you activate this one too close to yourself, it will do a 180 and come straight back at you. So if you look, I, act I sent the missile off it activates then it looks for any radar emissions on its path now I did send this after a transport and I don't think they use radar emissions so I think it went straight past the transport I'd sent it to attack which was a bit of a mistake but it serves as a good example because now you can see the radius of the missile and how far it will try to find the target so here we go, I'm setting it up again, KH-15P, selecting where I want it to activate because it will come back at you if it activates and you're within its circle. I'm launching the missile, and I must apologise here, I didn't know where the nearest target was, I kind of just sent it down this bearing hoping something would be there. It seems to miss the city and at the last second you'll see it det uh, detect something to like 30 degrees and it will turn off and then it'll go to that target. There we go. Trying to stop it, but it is. Okay, now we've got the R3 ballistic missile, and I believe this is the fastest missile in the game, and it kind of locks to a target. It'd probably be difficult to hit a strike group with this. If anyone does that, please tell me and show me. Um, but this is great for attacking cities from a distance. I launched two here, and they're meant to go in the atmosphere and then come straight down onto the target. Now, they are very fast. So it's going to be difficult for the enemies to shoot these down. So they come straight from the top. Boom. So if you're feeling particularly brave in your game of High Fleet, you can decide to use nuclear missiles. I don't personally recommend at the minute until you've had a bit of experience, because the enemy will then fight back with them. You get a warning first before you use these, and then if you do decide to use them, they do do a ton of damage. I think here you can see two enemies flying off the screen. So do a lot, lot of damage. And then I think I managed to do one again. That intercepted an enemy fleet. 
Okay, so there's a strike group. I decided to send a missile their way. Hopefully they're not prepared. Off it goes. Activate his homing. Found the target. Let's see what damage it does. So they did manage to shoot that down from a distance and it still did a lot of damage even from that distance. So that's it from me for this video. Please like and subscribe if you've watched it and it's helped you. Any comments leave below. Maybe this, some tips for me. You've seen me doing something wrong. Um, I've got a Let's Play going on, so you're more than welcome to watch them. Any likes and subscriptions are really, really helpful. Please leave your comments below. Thanks a lot.